With high inflation, rising interest rates, increased prices, and a roller coaster economy, if your money isn't working for you, then something needs to change fast. For years, I've always heard that slogan, make your money work for you. But how? And what does that even mean? And even if you do know what it means, do you know how to make it happen? A lot of times, it could be confusing and risky, and so you just don't know how or where to even begin. So you don't. And because you don't, you then miss out on years and years of passive income. And I get it, it can be intimidating. But if you're watching this video, that's all about the change today. Because not only am I going to tell you, I'm actually going to show you how to make money and have your money work for you. Now, this isn't going to be one of those videos you've seen where I just blindly tell you, invest in the stock market or buy stocks or buy Bitcoin. No, I'm gonna show you exactly how to invest it, what to invest in, and what specific bank accounts you you need to open right now to start generating guaranteed safe instant income your money is somewhere right now it could be in a bank under your mattress or even in your pocket and if it is it's making nothing zero and that's a problem a big problem if your money is in a traditional bank account a checking or even a savings account you're making next to nothing you're probably making like 0.01 percent interest rate and that's not fair because the bank that has your money is actually making money from it so let's change things up so that you can be the one making money from your money and to do that we're going to leverage the power of ai and chat gpt so pay attention I'll be sharing some impressive income generating prompts so you can start investing and making passive income right now. Now, I know this isn't my typical sort of video, but I feel like this is actually one of the most important ones because ultimately we're all in the same boat. We all want to generate income. That's how we support ourselves, our families, or even our friends. These tips I'll be sharing with you today are actually some of the things that I've done and still do. So if they work for me, they're gonna work for you. So let's get right into it. The fact fastest and surest way to start making your money work for you is with a high yield savings account, HYSA. This is actually the silver lining of high interest rates because every time the feds raise their interest rates, your high yield savings accounts also raise their rates. For example, when I first opened my HYSAs, they were only yielding 1% interest. Today, however, they're yielding 5% or more. That's 5% guaranteed income every month. And I'm going to tell you which two high yield savings accounts are actually the best in my opinion. But first, let's take a look at this amazing prompt generator. Going forward, you should use this prompt anytime you want to know how much money you currently make versus what your money-making potential actually is for the future. Okay, so now let's get straight to the prompt. We're going to open up the Mega Prompts database. And so, if you don't have access to this Mega Prompts database, click the links in the description to get these prompts or access the Mega Prompts database. I'll put a link in my description so you can get access to this database, which contains over 2,100 plus prompts for lifetime access and I add new prompts almost every single day to it. Now in order to find my finance prompts up here at the top of the page where all these tabs are, you'll actually see a tab called finance. Click on the finance tab and then it will bring you to these prompts right here. Now the first one we'll be taking a look at is one I've made to help you keep track of how much money you've been missing out on but then the positive how much money you can make in the future simply with just opening up a high yield savings account. So here it is right here. It's called the snowball method. I need you to become the number one passive income strategist. What this is going to do, it's going to take the amount of money you have, how much you want to invest each month. And then with the snowballing effect, it's going to tell you how much your potential is to have in the future. And so if you're unfamiliar with the snowball effect, it's one of the most powerful things you can do in the investing world. That's where you have like a stock or high yield savings account that generates interest. And when you reinvest that interest, it just keeps adding up time and time again each and every month, therefore making your starting amount much larger in the years to come. But you don't have to really worry about that right now because that's exactly what this prompt was built for. Okay, once I have the prompt copied, now let's head over to ChatGPT. Here we are in ChatGPT. Simply, all you have to do, now just simply paste the prompt in. Let's let ChatGPT do all the work for us. So check it out. To start the process, please provide the following details for each type of account you have. So number one, I'm gonna say high yield savings account. And then number two, what's the current balance in the account? Okay, so let's just 
give it a balance. Let's just say currently in your account, you're going to have, let's just say 50K. Now I know this money will vary. It could be anywhere between 100 to 1K, 10K, 500K. It doesn't matter, but here's just a good solid number to start with. Okay. And then number three, how much is our monthly deposit amount? So if we're going to have 50K in here, how much do you expect to deposit each month in this account? So whether you get paid weekly, bi-weekly, or even monthly, set aside a little bit of money, figure out how much money you could set aside each paycheck, take that amount, and then tell ChatGPT how much you can expect to add to your account each and every month. All right, so if we have 50,000 in there, let's just say our monthly deposit amount. So we're looking at every month, how much do we expect to add in here? So let's just say 2K, okay, just to make it simple. So I'll put $2,000 in there. And then number four, what's the annual interest rate depending on the account type? Okay, and that's where these two savings accounts will come into play. My current favorite HYSAs right now are yielding about 4.5%, but it's also gonna vary depending on the current interest rates. 4.5 is pretty good. So let's just say 4.5%, okay? We have all of our information in here and ChatGPT says that. Once I have this info, I can proceed with the calculations using the snowball method. So it's gonna take all of your information and it's gonna show you the power of the snowball method, okay? Let's go ahead and then select send, and then here we go, ChatGPT gets to work, it gives you all of the information. Now, once ChatGPT is done, the most important part or the most important question hasn't been answered just yet. This is where you're gonna see the true power of snowball income. Okay, so here we go right here. So it says the interest is compounded monthly, it remains constant at 4.5% annually. Here's a breakdown of the calculation. Okay, don't really worry about this yet. We're gonna do just layman's terms and make this as easy as possible. Don't mind this table quite yet. You want to answer the most important question. And here it is right here. Could you please specify the length of time in months or years you would like to calculate the interest for? Okay, let's go ahead and then say five years. So down here at the bottom, I typed in five years. Now watch this. Okay, it says, great. Let's proceed with calculating the interest earned monthly deposits and new balance for each month over a period of five years or 60 months. So this first breakdown only shows five months. That's really not that much. But from that, you could see what you're going to earn in interest each month with your monthly deposit and then your new balance. So even after five months, you started with 50K in there. You earned 187.50. This is your new deposit and this is your new balance. After five months, your new balance is going to increase from 50,000 to 61,000. All you're doing is making money off of interest and then reinvesting 2,000 extra dollars every single month. Here's the best part. Now let's scroll down and it says, we'll continue this calculation for each month until we reach 60 months. Now look at the table it just gave us. So after year one, you can expect to earn an extra $2,845 in just straight passive income alone, bringing your new total amount after one year to over $80,000. Year two, you're making $6,000 extra, but by the time you get to year five, you have then made $16,364 in complete passive income. Now look at your current bank statement right now. Even if you can't go back for five years, if it's not a high yield savings account, look at the interest rate. And then over time, look at your monthly statement to see how much money you've yielded in interest with your current savings or checking account. I'll guarantee you after five years, it's definitely not over $16,000. And so remember this $16,000 that doesn't include the extra 2000 you're putting in each month. This is only the interest made all by itself. So after year five, if you're adding the $2,000 every single month, after year five, your new balance is $294,000. Okay, so you went from 50K to 294,000 in five years. Now, granted, that's if every 60 months you're putting in $2,000. That might not be a legit or an accurate number. That's just an estimate. It could be lower, but take the number you could put aside each and every month and then use this prompt to get your own calculations. Over the course of five years or 60 months, just having a high yield savings account is going to generate a ton of monthly or annual instant income for you. So when I use the same exact one a little bit earlier today, Look at how much it did if I did a current balance of 100,000 with a monthly deposit of 5K each and every month. It then presents this table to me where after 60 months, my new balance is $539,000. That's up from $100,000 again, but that's if I'm depositing my monthly deposit. But now that brings us to the most important question. What high yield savings accounts should I get? I'll show you exactly which ones to use right now. Now, this is just my opinion. These are the two accounts I personally use myself. There's others out there that are very good as well. But the first one I use is Marcus by Goldman Sachs. 
Here's their page right here. You can see currently it's giving a 4.5% APY, and that's going to be the annual percentage yield. But every month, they're going to add extra money to your account in just straight passive interest made income. And so what's so good about these high yield savings accounts is that right here, you could see they are FDIC insured. And one of the reasons why I love this savings account is because of their mobile app. It's extremely user friendly and the interface is very clean and easy to work with. It's easy to link accounts and you could transfer money and get money immediately when you need it. And so this isn't a CD to where you have a maturity date. When your money is in an account like this, you get direct access to it immediately. So over here on their page right here, you could also see they have a pretty cool income calculator. So let's say you have $25,000 to now transfer in here. What is your reoccurring deposit amount? Let's say $1,000. We can expect to put in $1,000 from our paycheck every single month. And then what's the recurring deposit period? It's going to be monthly. So every month I can put in an additional $1,000. Let's look at how much we can make after a specific period. Okay. So if we're looking at four years, the calculations over here will show you compared to the national average and then the other banks below. So you're going from $9,216 compared to Bank of America, 78 or Chase, $39. Okay, let's fast forward this for 10 years, okay? $44,342 made in 10 years. Now remember, that's $44,000 that you have made in 10 years by doing nothing. All you did was simply transfer your money into a different bank account. So over the course of 10 years, you now have close to 45 k made by doing absolutely nothing. So that's Marcus by Golden Sachs. That's my first recommended one. Now my second recommended one is going to be the Amex, the American Express High Yield Savings Account. So you can see this one here is at 4.35. It's a little bit less, but still very good. And then we can scroll down here again, and then you could see again, this is FDIC insured, okay? 24-7 world-class customer service. So one of the reasons why I love Amex so much as well is because of their customer service. If there's an issue, when you pick up the phone, whether it be a credit card or high yield savings account, you're going to actually get a real voice. And again, on American Express high yield savings account, you also have this pretty cool savings calculator as well. So if I put in $25,000 for a duration of five years, my monthly deposit is going to be $1,000. So I can take this and, and toggle it all the way to the end for 1000 And let's see what we can make. So our future balance is $96,000. We only started with $25K, but the interest we made is $12,679 by doing absolutely nothing. Those are the two I personally have myself. And I've had them for years and I have to tell you, customer service is amazing and then both are very user friendly. Before we move on to the next step or the next phase in this investment journey, let me now share a few more prompts with you specifically tied into high yield savings accounts. Okay, back in the Airtable Mega Prompts database. Now this one is quite simple. It's a fairly simple question, but in real time, this is the prompt that you could actually use and ask ChatGPT to show you the current high yield savings accounts that have the highest interest rate. And now for this one, I'll actually use ChatGPT4 because it's important to get real-time live data. If I use 3.5, it's going to give me information from 2022. I need information for today's current time. So I'll paste it in down here at the bottom. And then immediately it's going to start to get the work. So it's going to say number one is going to be a UFB high yield savings account that's given 5.25%. And then it's going to go on and on and on, giving you a variety of different banks and what their current interest rates will be. Then from there, you can make a decision. But again, I just showed you my two favorite ones, but do your research and then choose one that works best for you. Okay, so moving on to the next prompt is also for high yield savings account. This is pretty cool too, okay? Let's go ahead and then copy this prompt in. Okay, so now for this next one, I'm still in GPT-4 because I want real-time data. If you don't have access to four, then all you'd have to do is just look at what the current rates are and then tell chat GPT. But for this case, here's the prompt below. If I were to open an Amex high yield savings at their current rate and I deposited 100K, tell me how much I would make per year in passive interest income. Okay. So since I'm in four, chat GPT has access to real time data and it will be easy to distinguish what the current rate is. And then there you have it. It says in the first sentence, the current interest rate for an Amex high yield savings is 4.35%. That's exactly right. Now calculate how much you would make per year in passive income. It gives you the answer now with this final paragraph. Okay. If you were to open this high yield savings, their current interest rate at 4.35 and you deposited $100,000, you would make approximately 
4350 per year in passive interest income. That's $4,300 by doing exactly nothing except for just transferring your money over to this bank account. Okay, moving on. The next thing we can invest in that's going to be guaranteed safe and it will generate some guaranteed income is going to be CDs. Now, in today's times, CDs aren't going to be as favorable as they once were for me. That's only because since interest rates are so high, high yield savings accounts also have high interest rates. So if I had to pick one right now, I would invest in a high yield savings account over a CD. That's because with a high yield savings account, you have immediate and instant access to your money. If you need your money today, you can get it out today. With a CD, however, there's a maturity date. So if you open up a CD, you have to select a time period, usually in months of three. So three, six, nine, 12 months, or even one to two years, which means if I put $10,000 into a CD today and it has a one year maturity date, I couldn't touch that money for a whole year without receiving a penalty and the penalties aren't cheap. So think about it this way. When you put your money into a CD, you'll be generating some good income. However, you cannot touch that money for that set duration of time. But with that said, Marcus again, also has a pretty good promotional CD term. So you can see right here, Marcus has a 5.25 APY, which is really good, but you can see the term here is a 14 month term. So for 14 months, a year and two months, you'll be generating 5.25% in passive income every single month. However, you cannot touch that money for 14 months. You can use the same chat GPT prompt I shared with you earlier and then put in those calculations to get the same sort of numbers for a CD. Now, as far as CDs are concerned, I recommend Marcus by Goldman Sachs, but you could also go over to Fidelity and then you could find a CD and then research their current rates as well. So if I'm over here in Fidelity, you can look at this right here. We have what's called CD ladders. A CD ladder provides an easy way to invest in multiple CDs at a time, blending longer term CDs with shorter term CDs. So by having a one year, two year and five year ladder, you'll be having a consistent amount of passive income every single month or year up until the maturity date of that CD. Now our next step. Now this is where things start to get a little bit fun. We already have the high yield savings and CDs selected. Those are going to be the safe most guaranteed way to generate passive income. They're FDIC insured and your money is available when you need it. Moving on, however, now let's start talking about how to make real money. Although there is a little bit of a risk, it's been proven time and time again. When you invest in the stock market over time, you'll always make money. It's like the saying goes, time in the market beats timing the market. So when you invest in certain stocks or stock ETFs, if you can hold them for 5, 10, 15 years, you'll be amazed by how much money you'll make and it will generate over time. Which then brings us to our next prompt, stocks ETFs. Design a detailed guide focusing on investing in ETFs and index funds for those seeking diversified market exposure. So now you may be asking yourself, what exactly is a stock ETF? Okay, so I'm actually on one right here. Okay, I'm just providing the things I use and tools and tips I use myself. I am not a financial advisor. And so therefore, based off my information, do your own research and then make a decision based on what's best for you. But whatever I'm offering or what sort of advice I'm providing right now, this is personally just strategies that I've done, I currently do, and have researched for years. So like I said, right now, I'm on a really good website called seekingalpha.com. This is where I do all of my stock research. And I'm actually on one of my favorite stock ETFs right now, SCHD. But first, if you're unfamiliar with what an ETF is, let's go ahead and ask ChatGPT. So I'll just type in what is a stock ETF and then here it is. Here's the quick explanation. Stock ETFs offer investors exposure to a basket of stocks, providing diversification within a single investment. So what an ETF does, you can see here, it allows investors to gain exposure to a particular market or sector without having to buy the individual stocks. So here's exactly what I mean. I'm on this ETF right here. SCHD. One share is only $77.87. Okay, so what exactly is SCHD? If I click on holdings over here, it's going to take me to this page right here. Okay, and what this shows you is one share of SCHD will give you holdings or give you stocks in all of these companies below. So check it out. So one share will provide you with all of these stocks Broadcom, Abvi, Merck, The Home Depot, Verizon, Chevron, all the way down to Coke, Pepsi, and there's even more. But these just show the top 10, okay? So one share gives you a little small percentage 
of all of these. So you're not going to have a full share of Coca-Cola, but this one ETF is made up of little baskets of individual stocks combined into one larger basket to make one share of SCHD. Okay, so that's an example. We can look at another one, DGRO. That's another good one I like, ETF, $56. Okay, let's go to their holdings. So one share of DGRO consists of, again, Broadcom, Microsoft, JP Morgan Chase, Exxon, Chevron, Apple, and then the Home Depot. And then we can also look at another one right here, QQQM, 180, Invesco. Now you can see over here, this is going to consist of a lot of tech heavy stocks, but then we also have Costco, Broadcom, NVIDIA, Tesla, and Microsoft. Now we have another one, VTI, Vanguard, Total Stock Market Index Fund, ETF. This one's a little bit more expensive, but again, look at all of the companies that you get right down here. So having ETFs have been priceless because the thing I love about ETFs is that they also provide you with a dividend. So if I come over here back to SCHD, I can look at the dividend right here, okay? What is the current dividend yield? Now check this out. Right here, the current dividend yield is 3.44%. You could look at the history of this stock and how it's gone up or down. You could look at the yield over five years, six months, or one year, but you're going to get a dividend amount every time SCHD will pay out their dividends. Dividends are usually paid every month, every quarter, etc. But every time you receive a dividend payment, you could choose one of two things. You could cash out and take that money, which I don't recommend, or you actually want to take those dividends and do what's called a DCA. That's basically every dividend you make each month or each each quarter, you want to take it and then automatically reinvest it into that stock. Therefore, you're actually going to be buying more and more of that stock each and every dividend payment. That's the snowballing effect for stock investing. So I'll actually put on my screen, what you see on your screen right now are actually some stock ETFs that I like and I've used myself. And you could do the research yourself. I like them and they've done pretty well for me. Okay, so going back to the database, if I take this prompt right here, let's now take this prompt and now post this over here in chat GPT. I'm basically getting a detailed guide focusing on ETF investing. And this is where you can get all the information that you need. Look how fast it's spitting out all this information. Now, we're not going to go through all of this because it's a lot, but you could see it's an easy way to learn how to invest in ETF stocks. So, so the next prompt I'll ask is a simple one. What stock ETFs historically perform well? Please provide me with 10 examples. So I'm in four. We could have done 3.5, but I want to get the real-time data. ChatGPT is automatically providing me with, here are six right here. We have everything from SPY, okay? So SPY tracks the S&P 500 index, representing 500 of the largest U.S. companies. That's a popular one because you're basically getting a little bit of everything. Then we have VTI, which is similar to the one I showed you earlier. We have QQQ, IWM, VOO, and then EEM. And then as I scroll down, you can see here's even a few more. Okay, here's the one we looked at earlier today, SCHD, which then brings us to our next prompt. Draft a comprehensive guide tailored for investors eager to master fundamental analysis in stock investing. Let's okay. head back over to ChatGPT. I'll get a new chat opened up and I'll do 3.5. Let's paste this prompt in right here. And then here we go. Instantly and right away, ChatGPT is giving us everything we need, the knowledge, all of our fingertips from value investing, industry analysis, etc. So I won't bore you with the details. You can use this prompt and then look at it yourself. Right and then that will now bring us to this prompt, diversified investing. Let's go ahead and now copy this one out and then I'll paste this in. This is basically saying, construct a detailed exploration into building diversified portfolios for risk mitigation and growth. And then here is all the information that you could take for yourself and look into as well. And so if you take that same prompt and then put it in the chat GPT-4, you're actually going to get a little bit of a better response because it's going to give you a lot more details. And so here it is right here in 4, you could see it's going to start with asset allocation strategies and it's really going to give you a lot of details and things that you could use. Okay, so all the prompts I shared with you guys today, I'll put a link in my description. That way you can access all these prompts yourself. So if you're specifically looking for stocks that provide some sort of passive income, every single dividend you're going to be making, have your DCA or your drip strategy turned on. That basically means you're telling whatever platform you're using, like Fidelity, take my dividends I'm making and automatically reinvest them and buy more and more of the stock I'm in. So for every dividend check you get from Microsoft, it's going to take that money 
and then buy more Microsoft stock with it. So the Microsoft stock you have today, in 10 years, you're gonna have so much more of it, even if you don't physically buy it yourself. But just by utilizing the snowball method and having your DCA set to on, you'll automatically be buying more and more Microsoft stock every single time. And then we can get a lot more detail, but I feel like this would be a video for another day. Today, we just wanna start with the simplicity of it to get you started with investing and then make sure your money isn't just sitting in your bank, in your pocket or underneath the mattress. So check the links in the description. I'll put them all there in addition to my mega prompts database. But let me know what you guys think. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button because you'll be the first to know when all these videos come out. But until then, we'll see you next time. Jordan,